In the vibrant tapestry of Wakanda's rich history, a figure emerges from the shadows, a pivotal character whose legacy transcends time and challenges the very essence of the Black Panther narrative. As the Marvel Cinematic Universe embarks on a new chapter with Black Panther Wakanda Forever, the spotlight shifts to the enigmatic Olumo Bashenga, the first Black Panther whose presence echoes through the ages. But who is Bashenga, and what secrets of Wakanda's past does he hold? So it's been a minute since Black Panther Wakanda Forever hit the big screen. We were all hyped for the sequel to the 2018 Black Panther, but things took a turn when Chadwick Boseman, the OG Black Panther, passed away in 2020. His absence is felt in Wakanda Forever, where King T'Challa's gone, and Wakanda's in a tight spot dealing with a new threat from Namor, played by Tena Cuerta, and the Talacan. Stop! Right there! Who are you? And how did you get in here? So with T'Challa out of the picture, Shuri, played by Letitia Wright, steps up big time by whipping up that heart-shaped herb and becoming the new Black Panther. But guess what? They're not the only ones who've rocked the Black Panther vibes. Way back in the Bronze Age, the first MCU Black Panther was none other than Olumo Bashenga. He's a big deal in Wakanda's history, and the whole Black Panther saga getting shout-outs in both films. The drop of Black Panther Wakanda Forever got everyone buzzing about Bashenga again, People are actually rallying for Marvel to cook up a whole project starring the OG Black Panther, and loads of fans are shouting out John Boyega as the perfect fit. Marvel hasn't spilled the beans on a Bashenga project yet, but hey, you never know, right? So here's the lowdown on Bashenga, just in case it becomes a thing. Who is Olumo Bashenga in Marvel Comics? Even though Bashenga is a big shot in Wakanda's past, Marvel Comics didn't give him a massive storyline. That's because he's more of a historical figure in Wakanda than a superhero in Marvel's current plot twists. Bashanga rocked it in Wakanda during the Bronze Age, rolling with the Panther tribe just like T'Challa later would. Back in the day, Wakanda's tribes weren't one big happy family. Bashanga, a warrior and shaman combo, had this foresight thing going on. He predicted a cosmic energy burst from the Mina Nagai, aka the Great Mound, and that's what brought Vibranium to the Wakanda scene. All right, check this out. Bashanga, the legend himself, supposedly whipped up two epic weapons, Skybreaker and the Spear of Bashanga. These bad boys soaked up the energy from that cosmic eruption thing. But get this, after he chucked them away, they crash-landed in the west side of Wakanda, causing a wild energy release and birthing the city of Birnin Bashanga. Now, these weapons, Skybreaker and the Spear of Bashanga, became like Wakanda's version of Excalibur, getting passed down through generations. Then, here comes the divine part. Bashenga gets a vision from the god Bast, who points him to the heart-shaped herb. Bashenga chows down on that herb, gets blessed with panther god powers, and bam, he becomes the OG Black Panther. Not only that, but he pulls a diplomatic move and unites all the tribes, turning Wakanda into a legit kingdom. Bashenga's the first king in the lineup, making him the real trailblazer in the kingdom of Wakanda. But there is one thing worth knowing, Bashenga might be the second Black Panther in the historical lineup. The OG Black Panther title goes to Mosey, and we're talking way back in the year 1 million BC. Mosey was the trailblazer who downed that heart-shaped herb and lived to tell the tale. He was also one of the first folks to figure out how awesome Vibranium is, and get this, he even rolled with the Stone Age Avengers. Now here's where it gets interesting. Mosey did the whole Wakanda unification gig, just like Bashenga, but it didn't stick. The tribes went their separate ways again until Bashenga swooped in. Now, the MCU gives Bashenga credit as the first Black Panther, kind of leaving Mosey in the shadows. Why did they choose to overlook Mosey's legacy? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. And guess what? Word on the street is that the working title for Marvel's upcoming Wakanda series might spill the beans about it being a prequel to the Black Panther saga in the MCU. So here's the lowdown. Marvel Studios announced a drama series set in Wakanda back in February 2021, and the buzz is that it could be a prequel to the Black Panther storyline. Ryan Coogler, the maestro behind the Black Panther magic, is back to work his wonder on this Disney Plus series. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Marvel Studios is also cooking up a Disney Plus series centered around Denai Guerrero's Okoye, 
diving into her backstory in the MCU. But hold your horses, no one spilled the beans yet on whether these are two separate projects or if they're part of the same Wakandan universe. Hold on to your excitement, because the Wakanda series might not be as far along as we all wish, according to Marvel Studios producer Nate Moore. But fear not, there's a silver lining as he dropped the hint that there are some fantastic ideas being tossed around for Ryan Coogler to work his magic on. Now for the juicy details. The series reportedly has a working title, and it's a pretty cool one. Get this, Golden City. Yeah, you heard it right. It's all about Birnin Zana, the Wakandan capital, and the place where Wakanda was born. They even call it the Golden City, and that's got potential storyline gold written all over it. The working title, Golden City, for the MCU's Wakanda series, might suggest a deeper exploration of Wakanda's capital in the present day, especially with the recent change in the nation's monarchy. However, there's an even more anticipated storyline that Marvel Studios could tackle. In the opening scenes of Black Panther, we got a glimpse of Wakanda's history, introducing Bashanga. Bashanga was part of the Golden Tribe, the royal bloodline that named Wakanda's capital the Golden City, so it just makes sense. Marvel Studios might be looking into the origins of Wakanda in the upcoming Black Panther spin-off series, focusing on Bashanga consuming the heart-shaped herb, becoming the inaugural Black Panther, and founding the Golden City at the heart of Wakanda. This unexplored chapter in Marvel's history could result in a captivating and distinctive project, a series delving into the discovery of Wakanda's vibranium, the conflict among the five tribes, and the nation's foundation could offer a thrilling mix of action and drama. Exploring a prequel setting for the Wakanda streaming series offers several compelling reasons for Marvel Studios. Without the Black Panther, Wakanda will burn. First and foremost, it allows for the telling of a fresh and distinct story within the MCU, presenting a narrative in a completely different style. Moreover, this decision could prove beneficial for Marvel Studios in various aspects. The depiction of Wakanda showcased in Black Panther and its sequel is undeniably stunning, yet it comes with a substantial cost to recreate on the big screen. By setting the series in the ancient past, the budgetary constraints could be better managed, as Wakanda wouldn't be portrayed as a fully developed and technologically advanced nation at that point. Choosing the founding of Wakanda and Bashenga's initial journey as the central storyline provides an additional advantage. It ensures that the current state of Wakanda in the present day doesn't need to be altered, granting the series significant narrative freedom. This creative liberty allows the series to break free from the established rules of the current MCU, providing a unique storytelling opportunity. Furthermore, a Black Panther series set in the past serves as an excellent platform to introduce new characters to the MCU. This approach not only expands the roster of characters, but also maintains the thematic tone of previous Black Panther projects. Overall, opting for a prequel series for Wakanda presents a strategic and creative move that could enrich the MCU in various ways. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.